1995, I got a phone call one day uh, from uh, the then editor of Texas Architect Magazine asking me if I would like to be the Northeast Texas uh, representative to the Publications Committee of Texas Architect Magazine. And uh, the preface, I moved to Dallas in 2007, but I practiced in Longview in the Northeast Texas chapter for 27 years before that. And, uh, you know, the Texas Architect Magazine and the people involved with that were always this sort of priesthood that I never thought I'd be able to be involved with that. So I love the magazine and I love the work. I, you know, it, so it was a real honor to get that phone call. And I spent about eight years working on the Publications Committee with my particular interest being, I wrote a couple articles, uh, but mostly dealing with the publishing side of it, the communication side of it. And one thing led to another, and I was fortunate enough to be president of the Texas Society of Architects in 2004. And appointed Doug Steinle from Ohio, appointed me uh, to be on the AI National Component Advocacy Committee, Board Advocacy Committee in 2006, which at that time managed all of what I call the communications affairs of the Institute. Now, how communications gets put in advocacy is not, not really intuitive. Uh, parts of it made sense and part of it didn't. If you'll recall, those were the, la the last days of the advertising program that started in 1995. You all had, a, I think, a $50 dues assessment every year. That was one of the highest, if not the highest rated member value proposition the AI has ever put out. I, in the depths of the economic downturn, I, I had members ask me, when, we will gladly pay if you'll bring that advertising program back. Uh, public relations, the early walk the walk, which was a disaster program, the uh, various and sundry things like that. And it allowed me to kind of take that Texas architect experience to, to a more national level, working with very expensive and very highly qualified consultants in the public relations and advertising field. And what, what I developed over that time was a sense that the American Institute of Architects had a very balkanized and ineffective communications platform. For an organization as big as ours, we had a, a really bad way of communicating with the outside world. And we didn't even have a vice president of communications. And so it was, it was my goal as I, as, then I, I got elected to represent Texas on the board of directors and one thing led to another and I ran for national office actually gave me a chance to develop some of these things. So what I had originally planned on being uh, just, my campaign platform was to elevate the communications platform of the Institute. And about the time I got elected, shortly after I got elected, we hired Robert Ivey as our CEO. And that just sort of pumped some steroids into the whole idea because Robert comes from a communications background. He is the preeminent communicator in our field, I think. And he said, you know, Jeff, I mean, at this perfect timing, he said, for me to arrive here doing this is great. He said, I think we should make this broader and deeper than just a communications platform. And we brought in LaPlaca Cohen from New York City, who's a, what I call sort of our cultural psychoanalyst. They, they work with organizations like ours to sort of get to their essence, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And they're teamed up with Pentagram, specifically Pentagram's New York director, Michael Beirut, who, in my humble opinion, is the, probably the preeminent graphic uh, designer in the world. So we've got a great team. We did a big research project last year. 30,000 points of data. Those are interviews, surveys. So we have this big scientific bag of information. And I think the AI is really having to come to grips with science. I talk about that a lot. But we're at the intersection of aesthetics and proof, and we're very, very, very much steeped in the aesthetic side of it. We have no problems or issues there, but the science side of it is problematic for us. And there's a lot of people who want to debate the science. I want to debate the science on some days, but the fact is, if you're going to do high performance things that rely on science and proof. You have to put some faith in the way you go about those. But we have this elaborate batch of research that tells us a lot of things, and we'll hear more about that later on <coughs> in the program. But the 
It is, was there anybody here who was interviewed, by the way? Jane Colini? Or any, anybody else? Did you go to a TSA convention or anything and sit down with her? That's interesting. Uh, I, I, in my travels last year, I went all over the place. And it seemed like everywhere I went, there she was in the corner with a little table interviewing people. And uh, so we have a lot of information. The sense of synthesis of that, which you'll see, kind of boils down to four main categories that a, a steering committee made up of myself, uh, Mickey Jacob, Helene Dryling, uh, Deb, uh, Deb Kunch from Indiana, and, and Robert, have just tried to take the LaPlaca Cohen data in, in conjunction with Arthur, Arthur Cohen and put some sort of order on it so I can stand in front of you and talk about it. And the four points that you'll see tonight are connect, engage, innovate, and lead. Uh, Robert says that C-E-I-L is a French word for something that he really likes, but um, it's, uh, we, that we weren't trying to create a template or get something cute to market it by, but we're just trying to organize this massive amount of data into something that you can wrap your head around. We have a statement of purpose, we have, uh, which is this, AI is really big about <coughs> missions and visions and purposes and, and the board of directors can wordsmith that for about five years. They can take those 18 or so words and it's, it's uh, uncanny, but this is sort of where we are now with the statement of purpose is to summarize why we're doing this. And I think I'm going to end with a little manifesto. Can you play that? At our grass